Did you know that apples, peaches, and raspberries are all part of the rose family? That's right. Never would have thunk it. Yeah, I mean, especially peaches and apples. Raspberries, yeah, they got thorns. Well, I don't know. Who, who asks them these questions? I don't know. I thought I would have a little fun this morning. And we could go over some weird facts. Because you guys are hard to please. I can't come up with a subject that keeps y'all keeps y'all interested. So we're just trying different things. So I went to different sources over the internet and found weird facts, true facts. People like facts because people don't like to believe things. So they're not going to believe something's true or they're going to argue it. So let's go over some of these, man. Did you know humans... This one's funny. Humans have been performing dentistry since 7,000 BC. I could use some dentistry. Which makes dentistry one of the oldest professions. I think we probably all know what the other oldest profession is. Yeah. Cave women. Did they have like, did they have separate caves for that? The, the cave brothel? Some, they had to have something, you know. Did they even get married back then? Or was it just a caveman with the club, you know, and he grabs her by the, yeah, I don't know, we'll get off to the next one. All right, let's see. Ancient Roman surgeons were trained to block out the screams of human pain. Well, I imagine, you know, they do that today, right? Oh, wait a minute, today they put you to sleep. Yeah. All right, let me look. Uh, there's, did you know there's a geocache on the International Space Station? And four astronauts have already signed it. But who else is going to sign it? They're the only ones that go there. Until they build the elevator, the Esca space elevator, whatever, however we're going to get up there. I bet it stinks in that thing. Can you imagine? They're cooped up in space with other people eating different kinds of food. Uh, they got, it's got to stink in that place. It, it does. Did you know that Canada, I know there's some Canadian people watching, mm -hmm. you guys eat more macaroni and cheese than any nation, any other nation in the world. And that stuff ain't good for you, man. Oh, Canadians, man. What else? What else? Did you know that John Quincy Adams had a pet alligator? That's right. And he kept it in the bathtub, one of the bathtubs in the White House, and enjoyed showing it off to people. Okay. I don't, I don't know what they're storing in the bathtub in the White House today, but it's got to be spooky. I'm telling you. Snakes can help predict earthquakes. They can sense a coming earthquake from 75 miles away up to five days before it happens. Well, there you go, guys. Everybody capture a snake. Put it in a box and just look at it every day. Sometimes you got to look at it. <laughs> you just got to look at it. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> I like that guy, Ed Bassmaster. Yeah. An animal's yawn is based on how large their brain is. The bigger the brain, the longer it will yawn. Well, man, Lily, my dog, she's got to be a genius. Because that's all that dog does is yawn. Her and Tilly yawning all day long. I don't know. Maybe they know something I don't. There are more Lego figures than there are people on Earth. Well, that's a no-brainer, man. I mean, uh, let's see. Let's find a good one. When cellophane was invented in 1908, you know, I guess it's like saran wrap, shrink wrap, it was originally intended to be used to protect tablecloths from wine spills. Yeah, it would it would spill and trickle down onto your britches. Because that's you pour water on that stuff, it trickles. Ah, let's see. Oh, this one. Just when you have heard it all. 
And I ain't seen this yet, but <laughs> it's probably not coming to Arkansas for another 100 years. But here's what you can get done now, guys. You can get, what do they call it? A QR code. You know, it's that little thing you got to scan with your phone, the internet barcode looking thing. You can get one of them put on your headstone. And people could scan it, and it goes to videos, and biographies, and pictures. <sighs> I don't even want to be buried, let alone a QR code. I think I'm going to tattoo one of them on my hind end. So if you want to know, you just, yeah, whatever. Ah, the NYPD had a police officer follow Andre the Giant. You remember the big giant wrestler? Wherever he went out drinking, this was to make sure he didn't get drunk and fall on anyone. And I heard he was quite the drinker. Yep. Hershey's chocolate syrup, Ritz crackers, Dum Dums, and Oreos are all vegan. Alright. In Israel, it is illegal. Don't do it. It's illegal to bring bears to the beach. I guess that, you know, what would I do there? I'd bring my bear to the beach. Come on. And did you know without saliva, you couldn't taste food? You would be unable to taste food. That's an experiment. I'm going to get me a sip of coffee. Let me. Uh, hmm. That's a lie. I still taste it's good. Well, did you know it snowed in the Sahara Desert for 30 minutes on February 18th, 1979? Where the hell was I? I was in like 6th or 7th grade, depending on what time it was. I, that's why I missed it. Oh, did you know in every scene of the movie The Fight Club... There is a Starbucks coffee cup. Now I'm going to have to go back and see. Starbucks must have paid a lot of money to have that happen. On Valentine's Day in South Korea, only women can give, give gifts, not men. Man, that's the way it should be all over. Yeah, I don't give them out. <laughs> Uh, the largest living thing on earth. What would you think that is? Well, it is a red giant sequoia redwood tree named General Sherman. Imagine that's out there in that California. A real, oh, here's one I didn't know. <coughs> ah, hmm. For you Elvis fans, did you know Elvis was originally blonde? He started dyeing his hair black for edgier look. Sometimes he would touch it up himself using shoe polish. I was born blonde. All my kid pictures, I was a blonde-headed kid. That's a fact. Blue eyes. In California, you can get a ticket if you're driving too slow. Uh, that's, I believe that. I've driven, I will never forget driving in California. <laughs> That place sucks to drive. Kangaroos keep they keep growing till they die. Yeah, humans we shrink. Do you know a snail? He can sleep for three years. Well, he ain't got nothing else to do. He ain't never in no hurry to get nowhere. And what's with these turtles, man, this time of year? You always got to watch on the road, especially my road. They're always crossing the road. Where the hell are they going? Where? They do it every year. I think it's like the great tortoise convention. I don't know. Why doesn't their mothers have birth to them on the right side of the road? I guess it's a test. If they can make it, they can survive. Ah, lettuce is a member of the sunflower family. Who would have thunk that? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm going to live a much better life knowing these things, and you will too. So We're going to go on a few more minutes here. 
in Utah, birds, you know, birds, they have the right of way on the highway. I don't know, maybe they know that. And, you know, you ever see man out there eat? I see it all the time on my road. They're out there eating a roadkill. And then you see that one. He, he's going to push it to the limit. That one bird, he ain't getting up to the last second. You're like, oh, I'm going to hit him. And I have hit some. The older ones, you know, they just can't. They misjudge, I guess. A type of jellyfish is considered biologically immortal. They don't age and will never die. Unless they are killed. Can you imagine, you know, if you believe in reincarnation? Tell them you want to come back as a jellyfish. You know, my luck, I'd come back as a jellyfish, one of them immortal ones. And big old whale would come around. I'd be swimming around. And when I ain't never going to die, I ain't never going to die. Oh, I love in life. I'm just, I ain't never going to die. Oh, that'd be my, yeah. That'd probably be my last pick, you know. <sighs> there's an island called Just Enough Room. Well, there's just enough room for a tree and a house. Stupid. Did you know the collective name for unicorns? You know, you know, like a group. You know, like geeses. You got a bunch of mice, you got nieces. It's called a blessing. Well, I don't think unicorns are real, so how, how do they know? <sighs> Mob boss Vincent Gigante used to wander around New York City in his bathrobe to convince the police he was a insane <laughs> and avoid capture. Have you been to a city lately? Man, they go to the grocery store in their house shoes and bathrobes. And I, I ain't kidding you, they do that here. You'll go here, and I, I ain't never seen them in a bathrobe, but they'll be in their pajamas with their house shoes on and curlers. Ain't too many women wear them curlers anymore. I remember when I was a kid, them, them women wear them curlers, and they scared us, them, them curler women. Woo! Curler women. Are you a curler woman? I don't even think younger people wear it. I don't know. I've never worn no curlers. Some people in Russia think, yeah, I... Eating ice cream will keep you warm. Well, I guess if you're in Siberia, it might. Uh, orig originating in Berlin in 2008. Now, this, now this, is, this is a fact for the generation now. I believe this 100%. In Berlin, created in 2008, aggressive sitting is now a sport. How do you aggressive sit? Oh, I tell you what, I tell you what. Crows, you know, the bird, crows, not the Indians. They can remember the faces of individual humans. And they can also hold a grudge. Yes, I, I know about that. Mm -hmm. In America, it is against the law. It is a federal crime to share your password of your Netflix account. It's a federal crime. And in Zimbabwe, it's illegal to flip the bird to a passing car. Who's going to enforce that, you know? <sighs> Jousting is the official sport in the state of Maryland. Jousting. The butterflies you get in your stomach when you see someone you like is actually a stress response called adrenaline. <laughs> and stress is a, uh, a warning sign, isn't it? Yeah. I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it. An ingredient in chocolate can help prevent tooth decay. All right, we're getting long here, guys. We'll have to pick this up maybe next Friday. I don't know. Let's find a good one. People in yeah, North Korea. Who the funk it? People in North Korea are legally only allowed to have one of 28 haircuts. 
Women can choose from 14 different styles. I believe that because they all look the same. Oh, don't you hate it when they're that leader, that Pung Jung Jung, the big old chubby dude. And they're all like, oh, oh. I'd love to be there just once and flip the bird and run. Uh, there are more stars in space than there are grains of sand on every beach in the world. Well, they don't really have any way to prove that, do they? I know for a fact, because I've been up in them UFOs, and, you know. All right, one more. Even no smoking has been banned on airplanes. Ashtrays are mandatory on every plane. This is for safe disposal in case someone breaks the law. I have not flown in probably 15 years, but yes, they had ashtrays. I did not know that. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails.